Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve exponential equations that are in quadratic form. So if we look at this exponential equation, oh, I should mention, if you didn't watch the previous video on solving exponential equations and on log rules, make sure you go back and watch those videos before watching this one. But what we have here, I have an exponential equation, right? The variable is in the exponent. I have 2 to the 2x plus 2 to the x minus 6 equals 0. One time you have a trinomial where the exponent on the first term is double the exponent of the second term and the third term is a constant, uh, we could actually think of this as like a hidden quadratic type of equation. And what I mean by that, let me show you a let statement. So let's say I said let 2 to the x equal k. Well, if I did that, if I replaced all the 2 to the x's with a k, so this 2 to the 2x would become k squared, right? This 2 to the 2x maybe would help you if you thought of this. This is the same thing as having 2 to the x squared, right? 2 to the x squared, multiply those exponents, it's 2 to the 2x, so this is the same as that. So if I were to go ahead and replace all my 2 to the x's with k, I would have k squared plus k minus 6 equals 0. Now that's more obviously a quadratic. And you know how to solve quadratics. If they have rational roots, it'll be factorable. Uh, if it doesn't have rational roots, we'll have to use quadratic formula. Uh, but for this one, is it factorable? Uh, do numbers multiply to negative 6 and add to 1? Yep, they do. It's 3 and negative 2. So we can go ahead and factor this into k plus 3 times k minus 2 equals 0. And the zero product rule tells me for the product to be zero, uh, one of these factors would have to be zero. So either k plus 3 would have to be zero, or k minus 2 would have to be zero. So k would be negative 3 or 2. So those are answers for k. Those are the answers to this equation. But that's not the equation we actually have. Our actual equation doesn't have these k's. It has 2 to the x's. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take these answers we just got, negative 3 and 2, and plug those back into our let statement for k and we will get two cases. So we will have case one and case two. So case one, so we said in our let statement, two to the x equals k. Well, we found k could be negative three. So two to the x could be negative three. Case two, we figured out another possible value for k was two, so two to the x equals 2. So I'm just taking my answers for k, plugging into the let statement that I made earlier. And now I just have to solve both of these equations, and then I'll get my answers for x. So this equation, let's start with this one over here. If I wanted to solve this equation, I mean, the solution is obvious to this one. 2 to what power equals 2? Well, 2 to the 1 equals 2. So the answer is 1 for this. Uh, but it's not always going to work out this nicely. You may want to, to solve an exponential equation of this form, you may want to convert it to logarithmic form. So log base 2 of 2 equals x. And then you could type down your calculator or use your change of base formula, log 2 over log 2. And your calculator will tell you that the answer is 1. Now obviously for this one, you wouldn't have to go through that process. But if they were more complicated, uh, you would go through that process. What about over here? So if I change this to logarithmic form, it would be log base 2 of negative 3 equals x. So I'd be trying to figure out what exponent can I put on 2 to get negative 3. Right? That's what this logarithm means, and that's what this equation is asking us for. There's no exponent you can put on 2 to make it negative, so there is no answer to this. Logarithms are undefined for negative arguments. So for this one, no solution. So our only value of the variable that makes the original equation true is 1. And you would plug that back in to check. 2 to the 2 times 1 is 2. Plus, sorry, 2 to the 2 times 1 is 2 squared, which is 4, sorry. So we'd have 4 plus 2 to the 1, which is 2 minus 6 equals 0, right? 4 plus 2 minus 6, that's 6 minus 6, that's 0. So our answer of 1 is the correct answer. All right, hope you enjoyed. Go to jensenmath.ca if you want the corresponding material, and make sure you subscribe.